I can relate to the character of Drosselmeyer. He was, you know, someone who brought magic to this family, looked after their clocks, and really was uh, kind of the figure within this story that brought these incredible objects to life. Uh, without Drosselmeyer, we wouldn't have had the story of the Nutcracker. So I think if I can relate to that, it's that I get to, to bring magic to people's lives in a very similar way. My name is Brittany Nicole Cox. I'm an antiquarian horologist. I'm the proprietor of Memoria Technica, a small conservation workshop in Seattle, Washington. We specialize in automata, mechanical music, complicated musical automata clocks, and watches. An antiquarian horologist is somebody who works with antique mechanical objects that were traditionally used to tell time. Uh, this has evolved to any kind of object really that uses mechanical devices to create other effects such as life or music. And then, so There's a magic to antiquarian work. horology because it, it's all self-contained. And in fact, antiquarian magic used horology as a way to produce effects. The things that you can do with horology to know that everything is self-contained. It's all within a really small space and there's, there's no electricity. There's, there's nothing hidden going on. If you take off the covering, you can see everything working. And that was all made by somebody. To me, that's, that's pretty magical that it's all right there. It's all just brass and steel. The work that I do really requires uh, the skill of an artisan. So it takes many hours to master each skill. And to be a master, I think you have to put in something like 10,000 hours at anything you do. So certainly there's a craftsmanship to this work because um, I try to dedicate that, that same amount of time to honing each skill that I have to have to do this work. It's almost, it's almost like a practice, a daily practice. You know, you, you are a craftsman, you are your work, and you are this person uh, that's devoted to this greater thing.